Tato Katoa, Ko Natalia Toki Ingoa, He Uri Ahau no Ngati Kahu Nunu. To share short history of our school, our expert writers group have created a trip back in time for us all with the help of Mrs. Newsom, so we all know, loves writing. It is truly an honor and a privilege to stand before you all here today as we gather to celebrate the incredible journey of Peterhead School over the past five decades, 50 years of celebration. Today, we come together not, to, not just as individuals, but as a community, a fun bound by shared memories, experiences, and the continuing spirit of our awesome school. As we cast our minds back to the early years, the seeds of Peterhead were sown in 1972 when, den when tenders were called, and the vision of a new school began to take shape. Um, Messrs. Griffin and Martin undertook the task of building a foundation, not just of concrete and framing, but of dreams and aspirations for generations to come. Um, in 1973, under the guidance of our founding principal, Mr. Flagg, Peterhead School opened its doors to 111 students. 85 transferred from Blacksburg Primary, um, 8 came from other schools, and 18 were new entrants. Due to building delays, the new Peterhead School was initially started um, in the nearby church hall on Bristol Crescent on the 5th of February 1973, and then followed a few months later into Peterhead Avenue, Peter, um, Peterhead School was officially opened in August 1973. The role expanded rapidly from 111 students in 1973 to 620 in 1979. New blocks were built, buildings were added, and then Iron Gate School opened due to pressure from numbers. Mr. Flagg managed both schools as one until a suitable principal was found. The challenges of those early years from the rapid increase in student numbers to the need of creating new blocks for the 620 students were met with determination and a commitment to creating the best. It was a time when the need of organization for survival became a common cry from teachers as many pressure, pressures arose from the ever increasing new students. They, these challenges were met head on, and our school emerged from the concrete and steel, resilient and strong. Little did they know then, they were witnessing the birth of what would become, in my and many others' opinion, the best school ever. The continuing story of Peter Head, under the leadership of Mr. Brown and Mr. Jeanette, is not just one of the challenges they overcame, but a celebration of achievements. From the first Kapa Haka group in the uh, in quiet in 1977 to our Mi Haro performance today. Large Kapa Haka groups and Pacifica performing arts groups, hip hop dancers, school bands, and also Confident Me group, drama groups, and chess. The list keeps growing. Then on to the triumphs of our sports teams, most recently being Ames champions in basketball and a big number of Altamariki and Ross and Wakeley Shield rugby teams to many national and international representations from expedited students in scholarships. Music, rugby, softball, frisbee, and more. Too many to name. And the inclusiveness that now defines us today. As we reunite, let us also reflect on the physical transformations. The stones and shingle that once covered our playing fields have given way to lush greenery, and our once modest staff room, used once, <laughs> used once upon a time as an admin block, has become a hub of comfort, with leather couches and full cooking facilities, a place for teachers to revive. The given brown hall, a seminar room, a full basketball court and astroturf, playgrounds and a marikai are superb additions. Uniforms may have changed from black and orange to navy and teal. Uh, however, the core values of caring and kindness, thinking and worth ethic, belonging and inclusiveness remain unwavering. PD Hit has continually risen to the occasion, today with 21 classrooms and a roll of 546 tamariki 
We stand proudly to the ongoing three Kitty values of Nakitanga, Malamutanga, and Fenangatanga. In the evolution of our school, we have not forgotten our roots. Flexmere Primary, Iron Gate School, the Flexmere Community, Fana, and of course the Tamariki, woven together in Pahara Keke. The enrollment of the new generation, folding in mum or dad's or nanny or quarter's footprints, is heartwarming. New Tamariki are always welcome. Mahi tahi. Now let's take a moment to acknowledge the incredible leaders who have guided our school throughout the years. Our very first and founding principal, Mr. Bernie Flagg, short-term principal, Mr. Laurie Sinkoff, acting principal, Mr. Murray Tucker, and the choice, Mr. Kevin Brown, and the superstar, Mr. Martin Jeanette, who we all know, oh, who we all haven't forgotten. Their leadership has left a brightly highlighted mark on PDA, shaping it into the exceptional learning body it is today. And now, of course, as you all know, our one and only, Tumwaki, the outstanding Mrs. Tim Katwalafata, who is presently leading to fight heading out into the future. The commitment of deputy principals, STJCs, team leaders, and Kaiko, over 90 of them in the first eight years, all on one year contracts, and many more Kaiko with at least 10 year contracts to follow over the 50 years. Teacher aides, Kaya Fina, the first being Mrs. Piggy Fleck, sending out, sending out aroha to you today, Mrs. Fleck. Um, office staff, caretakers, and the school board all weathered the storms, adapting and evolving to meet the needs of the ever-growing Pahirikiki Flexmere community. In closing, let this will be a celebration of Peter Head School, be a celebration of each of you who has contributed to our rich Papa. May our shared memories reignite the passion and may our journey together inspire the generations that follow. Kia ora, thank you, and here's to the next 50 years of Te Whai Heringa Head School, a robot of education, inclusivity, and excellence. Ngā mihi mahana nui kia koutou. It is with great pleasure that we welcome Her Worship Mayor Sanja Hezerhurst to the stage, or as a strong supporter of our community in our Kura. We are grateful for her work for our wonderful city and beloved Pahara Kiki over many years. Please put your hands together and welcome our Mayor to the lecture.